G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Now this is the Helicon Tex Bushcraft Haversack Bag. And I've had this about two years and if you've been watching my videos like the walking ones, you would have seen me wearing this on a regular basis. It's made out of a 500D Cordura fabric. So it's nice, sturdy, fairly water resistant. All the specs of it, what we've got first, we've got a nice grab handle at the top here. So you don't have to keep grabbing the shoulder sack, just grab it, lift it and go. Nice and strong. It's doubled over here at the top to make it easier to grab. Some nice strong stitching in there. And what you can see now on this side, we've got a tunnel pouch which just goes straight through, which is ideal as you can see for hanging an axe. So let's take it off out of the way. So that's the Amora. I like that one. And you can see we've got some molly webbing coming across here. So we can attach uh, smaller pouches there. It is Powell's Molly compatible. The other side is very similar. We've got a more companion on the outside of this one. Let's get it off. It's uh, awkward to get off this one, off the Molly. But this one here. There's another pouch or another pocket, should I say? It's not a through pocket. It's actually stitched across the bottom, so I think we can put your saw in there. It might be easier if I put my knife in there. I normally use this to carry my camera gear when I'm making videos of walking. So parts of the uh, the batteries go in there, so they're quite nice. Parts of the tripod will fit in there out of sight. The shoulder strap is attached with Wujin buckles, which are really nice, strong, reliable buckles. It's a comfortable size, it's a 50mm, which is about 2 inches wide. So that'll sit on your shoulders, giving you the ability to carry a bit more weight in this without actually digging in your shoulders. But wearing this, I've never felt any of this any pressure off it so that does its job really well. And I'll take that off, make it easier. Make it quieter on this table. So that comes off nice and easy. So if you want you can just have that as a grab bag in the back of your car. Just grab it, start walking home with it or just use it as a general bag. You've got the Wujin buckles on the side and you've got the one inch webbing which actually goes through and it's stitched on both sides here so that's going to be nice and strong same on the opposite side which is where the shoulder strap connected now before we go anywhere in the front there's a back pocket here with a zipper and that's this whole size and it tucks into the top here too so it's an ideal pocket for putting your maps in there I'd say because you can have your map, instead of having it closed, you can actually open it up and get it out and be able to easily read it. So it's a decent sized pocket on the back. On the front, we've got the small buckle here, which is based on the British buckle. Which we just squeeze the bottom and give it a pull and it comes out and that part goes through the hole here and holds the main buckle in place so it doesn't come undone. Easy to put back, locks it nice and easy and again it's the same company the Rujin buckles. We have again some more molly webbing across the front so we can add smaller pouches like the emergency pouches. Whatever you, whatever you want to put on there, some Cavier radio on one side, your phone on the other, or your compass, or whatever you want to carry the same, you can throw one on the side here. So you've got a few points to add some pouches on there. 
Again, we've got another pocket at the front. In there, that's the DD super light tarp small. And you don't need to make much difference. Pockets of a decent size. It's got the hook, hook and loop panel here, so you can attach extra organizers onto it. The D ring, which is normally where my car keys connect to. So I don't have to mess around getting my, out of the bag. Inside, now before we go into the main part, we've got another pocket at the back here. Big enough, say, for your wallet. And what I've got in here is the Soya, I think you see the Soya Mini water filtration kit in there. And that wasn't full. Yeah, I've got a lighter, carry odds and sods in that. Again, we've got another D ring, so you can attach something else now, or you can have your keys there and a compass on there, and vice versa, whatever you want to do. Now this isn't full, if I give it a squeeze too, it'll fit a lot more in there, but you can see there's still room in here. So I've got the Helicon Text Poncho, 100 gram gas canister, my 750 bale pot from Tokes in there, with my cup and my little stove and everything. And on this side, we've got a water bottle holder on the inside, elasticated at the top. That's very simple, very organisable as well. And on the inside here, I might try and use turn this inside out. It's nice, it's firm construction. Right. There we go, we've got it. So this is the main section. Here's that pocket here I just showed you, which had the water filtration kit in there. Nice zippers, I think they're YKK zippers. They look like it. They've got the dust guard over there. There's your D-ring. But on the front, there is another zip pocket, which is actually the whole size of this. Now again with the YKK zippers, I believe, with the dust guard over there. So it's all gonna protect what you got in there, show you the set what we can fit in there. There's the tarp, it's gone in there. Let's get the poncho, just so you've got an idea of the size of this actual pocket. Do the zip up, and that's your mini tarp and your poncho, all fits in that one pocket. Doing this so putting too much in there like that is going to take up space inside the actual bag. But that just gives you an idea the actual size of this itself and the area you can use. Nice stitching all the way around. Nice and strong with a reinforcement hem on it. All in the bottom reinforcement hem. The whole have a sack bag is all lined. Good quality. It is good quality. So let's turn it back around the other way. Give you a close look at the front buckle. So you've got the buckle here, and what happens is this part of the buckle sits over that, and you like the D ring, let's call it, goes through, 
and then this part here it just pushes through and locks that in place so I don't want to get too close because the camera will go out of focus but nice little idea can be fiddly to get it but as long as you just move it it'll come just the slightest bit of push you don't even have to grab both sides you can just push one side and it'll allow it to come over so again let's go with one side this time as long as you push one in and that's what i'm on about you see that it's just a light two-prong fork It's a nice little haversack bag. I say it's handy for day walks or if you just want to go out and do a bit of bushcraft. You can carry a fair bit in there, you can attach to it. There's no attachments on the bottom. Even with everything I had in there before, there was still room for me to put a down jacket in there and I was able to roll my fleece jacket up, or oh, my sorry, my raincoat up, my rain jacket and sit it on top and then just lock that down in place and it held it and this lid here I've stitched up to make it more of a box lid so the chance of anything getting in there is reduced it's, it's just a handy bit of kit there's not much more to say about it apart from I've enjoyed using it it's, it's just one of the pieces of kit it's not big it's not fancy it's something you can just grab hold of, put bits and bobs in, throw it over uh, your shoulder and go off for a walk. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video now about the Helicon 6 Bushcraft Haversack bag. And if you have and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below and click on that subscribe button. Or is it that way? Click on the notification bell next to it and select all. So you'll be notified of all future videos. Hit the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.